First time in Vikendi, huh? On the bright side, you've got your squad with you, so your chances of dying horribly in the cold are only 96%. All right, I'll keep the odds to myself. Just that I've flown scores of you survivors over this island, so if you're open to some advice, maybe it'll help your chances down there. Now, Vikendi's no small island. You got 36 square kilometers to cover. You've got the cement factory, the Cosmodrome, and you might think that dropping into those is a good idea. Well, sure, there's lots of loot. You can drop there if you're looking for a fight, but the odds of your squad dropping into the castle and everyone making it out alive are slim. Though I'll admit, I've seen it done. But for our first timers, go with the odds of capturing a small area as a unit. From what I hear, the loot you want to find is more densely spread out across Vikendi than other battlegrounds. Jump in as one and expand your territory, like so. Here, and then here, and here. Even these small towns can get you stocked up for the long fight, and the squads you take down from there can do the rest. Now that don't mean that those small towns are without any danger. On Vikendi here, towns and campsites are all pretty close-knit. Only a few hundred meters separate you from other looters looking for a chicken dinner. So watch yourself, especially midway through the match. Other teams may be closer than you think and closing in little by little. Take my word for it. Hit the surrounding small towns first for better odds. All right, looks like we're coming up on go time. Hope you brought your nerve and your parka, because this is Battle Royale, and on the candy, it's cold as hell. <laughs>